welcome back to another video today i'm gonna be doing another story time as y'all can tell by the title i'm gonna be talking about my job horror story not really much of a horror story but i guess i don't know i'm gonna word it how layla flair worded it because that's who recommended um i do a video on this so um i was working at walmart over the summer of 2019 because this was gonna be the year that i got my first apartment my junior year of college so um of course you know with having a, um, a bill that's gonna come every month you need to have a job so you know it was one of the things where i had to stack up over the summer for my apartment um so i think it was like maybe like that april i think i had like april right before me when i came home i had applied and um i applied and you know got got the interview got the job but what was going to be different about this job was y'all i convinced my daddy to work with me what i did was i um what i did was i um asked him i was like you know dad you're not doing nothing for the summer anyway you know you don't you ain't doing nothing because my dad's entrepreneur so he i know he wasn't gonna be like well of course he's gonna be busy with what he has to do but i know he wasn't working the job so i'm like you might as well and I, it was overnight so i'm like it's overnight you like, you're not gonna be doing nothing overnight you might as well come um come with me so he was like oh, i'm my oh, i see so then i think i think i can't remember if he helped got me to help him apply or he came and told me like i applied I can't remember if I, if I remember correctly and I know my daddy he probably got me to help him with the yeah he probably got me to help him but either way he applied he got the job as well so it was like both of us locked in up in there so I was just like okay I'm very excited very excited very excited very excited so wow what happened how do we do it okay so he started before I did because as I stated I was in school so I was still in Spartanburg um and so I had came up I came I started literally like a week after him because I was still in school I had my final exams and I was I still had to move out of my dorm and come back home so I still had a whole process of, process of things that I had to do so he was his interview and everything got all his stuff handled before I did so of course you know he kind of started before I did so when I finally went in um I went in did my orange I'm just gonna skip to the working part because I highly doubt y'all care about that part y'all want to get to why you quit and why you didn't like it so boom cut straight to the chase Courtney Courtney was one of the um least um I guess kind of supervisors um at night she was one of the managers and Courtney was like racist like she really did have like slave mentality like if she's talking to you she wants you to like acknowledge her say something back we're not in school baby we grown we at work as long as i'm getting my job done i don't have to too much like what did he said who's tired i don't have to sweep my delivery for tired like i ain't gotta say okay yes none, yeah okay yeah let me know what i need to do it'll get done before it ship at the end of the day it's my job so and that's kind of how Courtney was. So I'm just gonna start with my first. What was my first little interaction with her? Um, I can't remember. So I'm just gonna just jump into the first one I can think of right now. So I have been working there for a while at this point. And um, Courtney, um, it was one day. I was. I remember I was um stalking and I had my headphones in. So I'm stalking and I'm like putting stuff up and I'm working. I'm working. I'm fast working. I have my music in. Work fast. Just leave me alone. Type thing. That's kind of the type of work I am I'm, I'm doing work just leave me alone you don't have to harass me every five minutes I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing so she had came over and she was saying something but she also was like a nice nasty person so it's one of them people that you kind of had to like play them how you play them how they play you type situation so um like I said I was stocking putting stuff on the shelf as a matter of fact if I'm not mistaken I probably was on the um I think the tomato sauce out because they stay put me on the aisle but um i think i was on tomato sauce out and i was just like i said stocking i was putting my stuff up put my stuff up put my stuff up, and she told me to come she told me to do something so i looked and i um just turned around kept stocking kept stocking so then she's like mind you she's also the type of person that she talks to you as she's walking away so like this is her this is me i'm gonna just yeah this is me this is her like this is what the stuff she does okay yeah so Make sure you getting that done when you did it. What? I can't hear you. Like, come back. So, that's how she was. So, she was doing one of them moves, talking as she was walking up the aisle. So, I'm like, kept going. So, next time I know she goes, did you hear me? Did you hear me? Did you hear me? I was like, I looked and I was just like, I heard you. And she was like, next time, say something. And I looked. And I was like, Courtney, get out of my face. 
when I turned back around. That was one of the first girl you got me up situations that happened at Walmart. So that was the first one. Um, what else happened? Another one happened. Somebody had um, it was these dudes like they had came in Walmart and it was like mind you, it was during the summer and um, I think that was like my age. yeah, I think it was my age, just my age. Now at the time, 20, I'm 20, so they had came in Walmart and um, they was just kind of like you know, you know, how you may talk to a co worker, what they was actually they was bothering me, but it was kind of like joking, like you know, da -da -da -da, you suck the stuff, da -da -da -da, you mess me like that. So, boom, she mind you, I'm still working at there, bothering me. So, she eventually came over and basically told them that like, they had to leave out of the store, like. They, they couldn't be in the store you know they had to leave out the store basically they couldn't be like talking to them while working they're not getting nothing they kind of leave type thing and i'm just sitting here like yeah you should you doing the most so i'm still sitting there you know stocking 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 that was that um then she you know walked off whatever but that was another situation where i was just like corny you kind of doing the most um another situation was <clears throat> She, um, well, I was about to say, I was about to say my dad's situation, and I was gonna say he might be a star, a, a look, a guest, but I don't even know now because it's it is kind of late. It's like it's like it's 11 32, so it is kind of late. So it um, we went on power to come on. If you watch power, if you know, do you know, we went on power to come on. So I was like, I'm also gonna knock this video out because I had just got back home, but that's besides the point. I was basically trying to tell y'all that. I was going to have my dad come into his, his spiel of working and um, kind of how Courtney was. But either way, um, I guess I'll just tell his situation. Well, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to just skip to like the last two points because it really wasn't, I don't say it wasn't much to talk about with what happened. But it was one of the things like, like I'm going through like just little, uh, little things and how she is. And it was just like, okay, this is, this is. This is too much streaming. Also, y'all, she's lazy. She was lazy. She was a top manager. She wants you to work and do everything. And she kind of just supervises. Like, she just stands there and takes all the credit when the manager, when the store managers come in and do the walkthrough through the store in the morning. She wants to try to take the credit like she's been doing everything. Ma'am, you didn't stock a damn thing all night. Go to that. So, that's kind of not going to work. But anyway, um... I'm, I'm everywhere with this story, y'all. I'm just bouncing everywhere because this is like, I don't know. I don't know if I'm with my dad or if I'm not or if I am or if I'm not. I'm probably not, though, because he, um, I'm probably not, though, because it's probably not going yeah. But anyway, um, so, yeah, the last kind of situation that kind of sent everything over the edge, I would kind of say it was more so like a snowball effect. I was already going to be leaving anyway because it was the beginning of August. Um, I was supposed to work there, of course, for the summer because I was going back to a whole other city for school. So, you know, it was one of the things where it's just a summer job. So, I was already going out. I already put my two weeks in um, for so I can leave and go back to school in August and everything. So, boom. I was the first one and my dad was the second one and then yeah okay so boom this is kind of gonna be, be me telling how I end up you know actually walking out doing my shift and not going back so yeah so um one day I was working and she told me I remember the owl yeah I think she had me on the um she had me on the chip owl and you know all Walmarts are different but she had me on the chip owl you know with the popcorn and all that she had me on that owl and the owl beside it and she also told me I think to go over to plates and cups and help with that, you know, plasticware and do that too when I finished, you know, what I was doing. So I was like, you know, okay, whatever, you know, so I'm starting to work. She comes back over not too long. I said maybe about an hour or two, maybe about, I said about two, about two and a half hours later. She come back over there and she was like, oh. so she's like, um, I want you to go over and um, go scrap, go ahead and go over to the pepper and um, the, the paper out. And I'm like, I said, what? I said, you told me to do this out and up out and then go. She said, yeah, okay, yeah, but now I want you to go over to the pepper out. And so I looked and I was like, no, you're not going to say I didn't do the stuff that I was supposed to do before I left. And she was like, um, you know what? If that's because I'm not handling it, da, 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 da. And I was like, and I just remember, I was like, well, and I sat back and I said something. And she said, um... I'm like, well, I'm not gonna go back and forth with you. I'm just gonna call it, um, I'm just gonna call it, um, what do they call it? Coaching. And what that is basically, if you work at Walmart, you know, that's basically when you get it right up. So, because she said she wasn't gonna go back and forth with me on the floor. So I was like, well, do what you gotta do. And I turned back around and kept stalking because I'm about to go back and forth with you, babe. So she's like, okay. And I'm like, okay. So she walks off. 
and um she goes to get another manager in the store because i think you have to have another manager present when they do the the coaching so she goes off and she goes to get the other manager so like literally it took her forever because the manager for one was pregnant at the time but either way go it took the lady like forever to like finally call me back there or whatever so boom it's you know i was talking to one of my um co-workers as a matter of fact because I was well actually no I lied first time she come back I was still stalking so she called me and she was like you know da, 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 da. Now, everybody know if you work at Walmart if you get caught over the intercom that means you have a right up and I don't like that so I'm like she's trying to be funny because she know what I'm at you just came over here on out so she won't call me back call me back to the back I'm like all right whatever so I started to go then one of my co-workers I think he stopped me and asked me something so then we started talking about what I was talking about in there that sounds bad but at the end of the day you wasting my time so I'm finna waste yours because you're doing all this for what because you're trying to come shake shit up randomly like no you should let me finish doing what i was doing like you asked me to do so i'm like so i keep talking so y'all they she called me again because like i said i finished my conversation so i was like oh let me go see what she want they're like yeah you know because everybody know how she is so i'm like all right so boom, once i go back to walk to the back i'm already knowing what it is i'm already knowing this writer because she got so she's gonna go get another man to do the coaching and also when they call you over the intercom you already know what that means so I'm just like whatever. So I'm just slowly walking to the back. Mind you, my dad, um, we worked the same shifts. So we both basically both went to work at the whenever I'm at work, he at work for the most part. Now, I was a few shifts, he made at work that I didn't work in. I was working, he didn't work. But for the most part, every shift that we pretty much worked was together. So I went to the back with him. And I remember I walked back and I was just at the door and I walked in and she was just like, Oh, you shut the door. I was like, You should I was like, No, I'm good. And she was like, Oh, you shut the door. And I was like, and she was, uh, then she was like, um, shut the door. And I was like, so I went over and I had kicked the stuff out of the door. And I walked back over and I was like, what? <laughs> Mind you, this sounds bad, y'all, but keep in mind, I had to work the beginning to May to the beginning of August. So I didn't work a, a little bit with her. So I know how she is at this point. And like I said, I, and I also was working like 40 hours a week. So I'm with just like, all the time I know how she is. It's one thing, like I said, y'all, if you know, if you worked at Walmart, I don't even care. I'm going to go to location. If you walked at Walmart on two nights, then and you know Courtney then you know how she is you know how she is so I'm just like oh so then she's like um on the what happened on the floor is very unacceptable I'm not going to be um you know going back and forth with um you know employees on the floor da, da, da. I was like okay I was like I wasn't going back and forth with you I just said what I said like so then she's like yeah but we not having that da, 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 da. it's rambling I keep mind type of 2019 I don't remember verbatim everything she said but obviously she was nagging me and she caught me to the back because she was upset that she was trying to talk to me crazy on the floor and I was like no like so and then she was like well um yeah I'm not gonna be arguing with anyone on the floor da, da, da. I said well no you don't know how to talk to people and you need to watch how you talk to people and I don't like that and so she's just like I don't talk to you talk about it. kill it so I'm just saying like mm, okay so then basically long story short she ended up going um okay well you have to sign um sign the paper da, 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 you know sign the paper and she's just like well if you don't sign it then you're gonna get two so I was just like literally and walk and then she's like okay you went you can go back on the floor da, 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 and I just turned around and then just walked out so boom Fast forward to the next day. Oh, well, I guess I, I got to tell what happened. So then I told my daddy what happened because it's crazy. We had ended up, I think, going on break shortly after that, I think. So I um, ended up, you know, just going back out and telling my daddy what happened. He was like, I was wondering. He was like, I knew, I already knew what it was when I heard your name. And I was like, exactly. And he asked me what happened. And I told him. He was just, just kind of like laughed it off because, again, if you work at Walmart, you know how corny it is. So next day, um, I go into work. And I remember, y'all, it's crazy. I remember all this, all the details. I remember this day I was working on a paper owl. So I was in the paper towels, toilet tissue, you know, all that stuff. That owl. So I was on that owl that day. And um, this was my last day of work. So when I came in to work, she was kind of just like, you know, it's a new day. Um, You know, everything that happened on the shift yesterday. Um, You know, we're going to put them high. Da, 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 da. And I'm just like. Cause girl, you don't know me. She ain't gonna ever be sweet between us. Well, I mean, we weren't ever sweet, but it's really not gonna be sweet no more now. Like, you were tweaking. So I'm like, mm-hmm, okay. So I, I'm not really worried about it because I already had made up uh, the master plan in my head that I was gonna just leave, use my pay time off and leave work early so I get paid for my whole shift, but be 
my last shift to be like a half a shift. So that's why I came up with. So me and my dad went through. My dad was like, just going. I got half your shift, like to 12, and you're good. Like, you're good. So I'm like, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. So boom, going to work. And at the time, we was working overnight. So it was 10, 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. So we went into work, and second shift used to get off at 11. So I never forget, we was um on the, um, I was on the aisle, you know, stocking or whatever. And I heard my daddy name on the thing. Call to the back. And I was just like, I immediately stopped and was like, do what? So, boom, I'm, I'm about to go back there. I'm about to go back there. But one of my friends, he was finna get out. He was like, you want me to just go check? I was like, yeah, go see what's going on back there. Because, like, what? Mind you, I'm acting like I'm the daughter. He the daddy. But I'm like, yeah, go see what back, what's going on back there. Because what? Like, why is she calling? Why is she finna write my daddy up? What? Kind of found out, y'all, the day before. Well, I already knew this, obviously. But this is what happened. The day before, um, at the end of the shift, they also tried to, I don't know why, make us do go bags. Meaning we put everything back. Keep in mind we stock in the store and we still gotta go back and put everything back that people basically didn't buy at the end of our shifts. No. So I think um the day before when my situation happened, I think if I'm not um mistaken, she asked my dad to stay over and the other dude who was in his section, he was the dude other dude who was in the section was maybe like a year or two younger than me. So she told both of them to stay, um and I was like, you know, can you stay over, you know, da 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 to finish the go -backs. And every time she said that, me and my dad's, um, you know, you know, answer would be, I get off at 7. Because, again, I get off at 7. Like, what? Y'all not doing no favors for me. What make you think we finna do a favor for you and stay over? And y'all can, you know, I'm good. So, we just like, you know, no. So, he, um, like I said, she told him to stay over. And so, my dad was just kind of, didn't really say nothing. But when it was time to go, we left. So, um, the dude was snitched and was like, oh no, you know, we're all at that. Da, 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 da. I basically said my daddy had left uh, to go back, so whatever. So, that's why he got the write up. Mind you, it's a, like I say, y'all, keep in mind, keep up. It's the beginning of the shift. We had to work at 12, I mean, 10, maybe like 11 something. They call my dad said, or maybe not even 11 something, like maybe like 10 50, 10 something. They come to the back. Keep in mind, keep in mind that's odd because it's like the shift just started. Like, what could he have done? Did? And we weren't even really thinking, like, about yesterday. He said he was, so he said that's the only thing he could think of. He was, but I'm like, what did he do? Like, we just got to work. So, take, he goes to the back, um, and one of the dudes who worked there, uh, he had went back there and he had got the, um, he picked up the phone and kind of was listening to, um, what was going on in the office. He was cool with my dad, though. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 y'all, I'm tweaking. He picked up the phone when I was in the office. He picked up the phone when I was in the office and told my daddy what Courtney had said, I think. That's how I went. I, like I said, I sent my friend back to go, like, see what's going on. So he kind of was just like, yeah, there was your dad, da, 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 da. But like I said, I'm already knowing this. So he was like, yeah, he back there. He coming up. He finna come up. So boom. My dad come up. Because at this point, we finna go on break. It's 12. So we was finna go on our 15 minute break. So my dad is like, at the same time, I come walking back, he's standing there. I'm like, okay, you know what's going on? He's like, nah, I'm about to go, I'm about to go. I'm like, what? You know, I'm about to go, I'm about to go. I never work for um Courtney again. I'm just like, what? Like, what happened? What happened? What happened? So he was just basically telling me that basically she said something about the go backs. And y'all, I'm gonna see if you wanna come to this problem. Hey y'all, he's so happy. <laughs> <laughs> well, my daddy is about to come, y'all. He's going to tell his part of the story of what happened when he went in the office. So, go ahead. I'm going to come with the camera. I'm going well, to stick there. I'm going to let you tell what Courtney had said. Go ahead. Go ahead. Well, we went in the office and Miss Courtney uh, <laughs> called me on the speaker. Ron, Ron. I did that part. I did that part. So, that part. as I go in there, I come in. She, you want to have a seat? I said, I, I don't need to have a seat. As I, um, she was like, well, I'm, I'm, um giving you a what did she call it a coaching a uh, coaching said. which is a write-up so I'm coaching you uh, because you didn't take the uh, go backs and I was like do what no I had to uh, pull all the, the um, freight back the freight back the palace off the back and I get off at seven I'm not doing that so and hold on what we used to say daddy when they used to ask to do something what time we get off at seven, at seven o'clock I'm gone <laughs> yeah and keep in mind I'm strictly there just to show my daughter for a couple months you know 
I work with her because I made a bet. So Miss Courtney um gonna say, well, um, yeah, I'm giving you a coach and you um uh, because you didn't do this. I said, no, 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 that wasn't what I was supposed to do. I said, it's seven o'clock. It's time for me to get off. I said, and furthermore, I didn't put all these uh, all this stock up, and you tell me to coach. I said, no, ma'am. I said, I won't. I won't do that. Well, you didn't do. I said, no, ma'am. You're lying, and I would not work for a liar. I won't work. You forgot to say when she said you cursed me. And, and, and yeah, and then she was, well, first of all, you she, cursed me. She had another um, supervisor, and she said, well, you um, you cursed me. I said, no, ma'am, I didn't. No, ma'am, I didn't. I, said, I asked the guy. I said, did I curse? She's like, don't even say. I said, man, you're going to let her tell you what not to say? I said, uh, no, I didn't curse. And he said, no, he didn't curse the other supervisor. I said, see, now you're a liar. You're lazy. She said, I got calluses on my hand. I don't, I said, I don't know where you got them from because you, you don't do no work. <laughs> so then she pr proceeds to say, well, I, like I say, I'm giving you a coach and you're going to write, uh, sign. I said, I'm not signing up. I say, furthermore, I won't work for a, a person like you're a slave driver. I, I will not work for you and you lie. I don't work for a liar. So um, I'm, I'm gone. She says, uh, well, what are you going to do? You got a whole shift. I say, I don't care. I'm gone. I'm clocking out. I'll never work for you again. And I clocked out and told my daughter, hey, I'm gone. She was like, well, I'm coming. I said, no, go ahead and finish your shift because she only had a couple of days left. So You remember, I was supposed to leave at 12 anyway. She was supposed to leave at 12 anyway. I said, leave everything on the aisle and let her do it. And um, that was basically it. And uh, I ended up coming back and working for another supervisor, which Travis. I think. Travis. Yeah, Travis ended up dying. But, um, so <laughs> God, God <laughs> bless. Well, God bless. Travis was good, dude. Yeah, he was. So, he was, he was, he was. Um, I worked for him for a week, and then did, did you know after you mean all that? You like to, you Bree can come back if she wants to. Yeah, and after all that, did oh. you know that uh, I told the guy what happened? He said we can take the the right storm. The storm, the storm manager. And he said, would you consider working uh, for us and training with me to be a supervisor? No. I was like, nope. <laughs> no. And that that was that. But that was my learning yeah. experience. Never worked again. Fully retired. Yeah, y'all got to meet Papa Red. That's me, Red Man. I'm back, y'all. So y'all got my daddy spilled. That's all that took place in the office. So like I said, y'all came back out, and um, that's when I took him up. And I'm like, so what happened? So you know, he telling me what happened, and I'm just like, oh. And I, I'm, I'm a mistake, y'all. It wasn't 12 yet, cause like I said, they called, he, they called him back. Why? I said that they called him back like 10, 11, something. So when that happened. My daddy literally, y'all, immediately left. And I'm like, I don't know what I'm going to go to. He like, no, 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 just don't hit us stay, you know. Um, you leaving at 12 anyway. You got an hour and a half left. Just, just work your shift. You know, I'm going home because we literally drove our separate cars that day because, I, like I said, I had planned to leave early anyway. So, luckily, I had my car. He had his car. So, um, he left. He did leave. And I remember, y'all, when I tell y'all that Aries came out of me, but y'all got stubborn. And I really did do what the tar my Taurus daddy told me to do. I left all that stuff on the aisle. Y'all, I'm talking about whenever something fell. Like, you know, if you were stuck, you know, the stuff fell on the pallet. Something fell on the pallet. Like, mind you I was on the paper towel and the toilet aisle. I mean, in the toilet paper aisle. So, every time something, boom, fell over, I look, kick it out the way, and keep going. Because, girl, you got me messed up. And you really thought you was going to treat me like that the day before. And I was going to come back and work my honey off for you. No, ma'am, no him. So, I had to show her, like. This ain't that and that ain't this. You think you sleep, but bitch, I'm Rick. Yeah. Who? Yeah, I really do think a lot of stuff in there. So, y'all left the stuff there. And then, if y'all don't know how the paper towel out is set up in Walmart, y'all know it'd be like wide. Like, they're big. Like, you can literally, if you're short enough, you can kind of just walk under there, you know, crouch on there. So, y'all, kid, I got, I crouched up under there and sat pretty much and was chilling on my phone for like, because like I said, I was supposed to leave at 12. It's like at this point, like 11, 5, 30. 15, you know, it's 11 something because at this point, I'm like, oh, I for sure got less than an hour left. So I sat back there, wasted time on my phone for a good little minute, and then I would come from under there and stock something, stock something, then go back up under there, something fall, kick it out my way, go back under there. And that's basically what I did for the rest of my shift. Um, well, the rest of my half a shift because when 12 came in, when we all about to go on break, we all, um, you know, I was like, y'all about to go, y'all. They're like, no, y'all, no, you're not. I'm like, yeah, y'all. They're like, no, you're not. I'm like, watch me so i remember y'all i went and got me a bag of the soft original um lifesavers and i had um checked me out i got my bag i opened i was eating on the way out i was like all right y'all i'll catch y'all later so i'm like oh i'm gonna leave for real 
I'm like, yep. Y'all have my Honda and I did, did the donut at the parking lot left. I'm exaggerating about the donut. I mean, technically it was a donut because it was a circle, but it went like fast with the, you know. But I, I, I started at the parking lot. I bet you, I bet you, I bet you I didn't stay. Because, yeah, cause, hey, one thing about me, when it comes when it, when it comes to a job and they play with me, I'm going to quit it. <laughs> but, yeah, that's my story time on why I quit Walmart and the horror, horror story of working there. Um, so, thank you, Layla, for the suggestion. If y'all have any other story times that y'all want to hear, let me know. Like I said, I have hella stories for y'all. So, just let me know. Like, comment, subscribe, check post notifications. I'll be ready for the next story time. Duh. And I'll talk to y'all later.